Hello, welcome to Switched On. My name is Paul, and today's What Is is all about Torchlight 2, which for some of us came out today on the Nintendo eShop. And I say some of us because I believe some of the American guys that have pre ordered are having problems getting this one started, although it is officially out today in Europe at least. And I believe it's going to be ready for the American chaps and chapesses in the morning. So it's £17.99 to buy here in the UK. And it's $20 in America. And this is originally from Runic Games, but has been ported to the Switch by the uh, excellent Panic Button. Done some fantastic stuff like Rocket League, uh, Wolfenstein, and uh, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, and uh, published by Perfect World on Switch. So I don't normally like doing this, but this is literally the first time I have started the game. So I'm going to have a quick look at this see how it all works so we're gonna pick a class berserker he looks pretty cool and one thing if you don't know anything about this game it's kind of the point of this video but um also just to give you a quick overview it is very much like diablo in fact uh i believe it's a sort of straight rip off of diablo i remember playing the original torchlight back on pc uh, a good while back but didn't get round to playing Torchlight 2. Otis, I like that name. We're going to go with Otis, I think. Uh, so there's our character. So get to choose a pet as well. Panda, that's a very sad looking panda. Uh, and, uh, oh, great, a unicorn. Okay. Uh, alpaca. Panther, he looks pretty cool. Bulldog, I do like bulldogs. I think I might have to go with the bulldog. Oh, that's a good choice of pets to go for. Oh, Wolf's pretty cool as well, but I think I will go for the Bulldog, being British as well. Uh, I've got a soft spot for Bulldogs. So you can change your colour. Oh, that looks like a Rottweiler Bulldog. Pet name Spooky, I like that as well. So, so far, so good. Won't go hardcore, but I imagine that's sort of a permadeath, perhaps. Oh, shut up, Spooky. He's already started barking. So then, we are ready to go. So we're going to play single player. You can play, I believe, four player online. I think it's six on the PC, four on the Switch. And also, I've seen people asking if there's any co uh, couch co-op. There isn't any couch co-op in this game. So that upset quite a lot of people. But I believe there was no uh, local co-op in the PC version either. So um, it can kind of be forgiven that there's, uh, there's no co-op here either. So we skip through the story so we didn't spoil anything for those that want to start the, the game afresh. And here we are. So I believe it's a little bit more open than Diablo, but similar sort of setup, the isometric action RPG. You a new recruit? Okay, thanks for that. Uh, you can see at the bottom there we've got our attacks. So L R Z R Z L X A B and Y. Only really access to A at the minute, which is a brawling. Has to be a brawling sort of approach. X, we can't use the spells. Looks like L and R is to replenish potions. I would imagine L is health, R is magic from the, the colour of the setup there. And B is some sort of magic attack there. It's taking our mana to do that attack on the B button. So, okay, that's fine. Right, so. I think this is as far as I can go. A couple of exclamation you marks. Of the enclave, but you're on your own. Warn them that the alchemist destroyed Torchlight and is headed their way. He may be there already. Okay, so we can accept that quest. Press X to see quest item rewards. Ooh, so we get an axe. Knuckle dusters. Some sort of sword. Excellent stuff. We'll accept that quest. Ooh, we have a new quest. Johnny the Hood. alchemist will be headed this way. And if he passes through here... I've already done that one. Are you injured? Okay, so looks like that is the only quest that we have got available. All these other NPCs are just available to uh, to chitter chatter with. It's a horse. Um, graphics look quite nice at the moment. It's performing quite nicely. I think it's 30 frames a second on the Switch as well, so not 60. I'll have to double check that. Aha! Let's make some. Ooh. Critical of a first hit. 
I'm gonna keep trying to hit that bulldog. Sorry, Spooky. Perhaps I should have made something a little bit more obvious. But I believe your uh, your pet companion can do stuff like carry uh, equipment, and also you can give him equipment to take back to town to sell. Stuff like that. Looks like he's getting directly involved in some of the attacks here as well, so that's okay. Let's try one of the magic attacks. And I found a chest. Some loot. Now, loot is the aim of these games. If you played Diablo, if you haven't played Diablo, then you'll know that uh, loot is the way to go. Don't know how we uh, equip our loot. What have we got here? So, what did we just pick up? Whatever it was, I think it's been automatically. Uh, yeah, it's been automatically uh, equipped. It's so weird how polished sort of Diablo is. You sort of, you know, these it looks really nice. Uh, music's quite nice, but it just still feels so indie. It's not a terrible thing. It's uh, so it's playing nicely at the moment. So no, we're heading towards on the mini map in the top right. We're heading towards the uh, waypoint that we were set. Let's head off the beaten path a bit. Let's see what's around here. Doesn't feel quite as snappy as Diablo. Like I'm going to keep comparing it to Diablo, and I'm sorry. I know it's the third of the price, which is the uh, a great selling point for it. Yeah, it just doesn't feel as immediate as Diablo does. I don't know if that's me setting all these fires. I don't know. Uh, I seem to be setting everything on fire whatever I touch. Uh, anything up here? No, nothing up this way. Just really wandering around off the off the path here, see if we can find anything that's any sort of secrets or chests to find. We was a on the hunt for loot in these sort of games. Nothing obvious so far. Ooh, we did miss a potion or something up there. Go back. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we've got another mana potion. So we've got three mana potions, five health potions. Should we need them? That's a dead end. Let's head down this way. Let's see what we missed on the map. Oh, there's a couple of big ones. So we've still not tried our spell yet. That's on the uh, map to the X button. Just keep saying not here, so I'm not sure why we can't use that yet. A hood. I guess it's going to be in the options there that we can um, turn off. Oh Christ! Um, turn off automatic equipping of, a, of items. I would imagine. If I get somewhere safe, can I check that out? Ah, oh, yes. We can send the pet to town now. So yeah, we can load him up with stuff, send him back to town to sell items. So that's quite a, a unique feature can, uh, in this one over Diablo. Can't see any obvious options here. There's a quest log. Ah, oh, here's the settings. Mm, HD and rumble. I've not got a control pad that uses rumble at the moment, so not really uh, got any idea how that is. And I can manually save it anytime, so that's good. So, what is this thing here? We've got a shiny blue thing. That's the technical name for it. Oh! Go away. We want a weapon of some sort, ideally. It's great brawling and all, but I'd love a weapon. I don't know if you actually get weapons in this game. I assume you must get something. So, we've covered that part. We need to go around the long way it looks. 
Oh, here's a chest. Locked. What? What do you mean locked? How do we unlock it? Maybe we have to clear the area of baddies. Maybe get rid of this guy. You have become more experienced. Ooh, become more experienced. Jolly good. Right, unlock it now. So we have to probably clear the area of bad guys. We'll pick up everything. I assume there's a uh, different rarities of items. Let's have a look. See what it's equipped for us. So we've got light cow. It doesn't tell you the rarity of it. It's got any rarity, but looks like we've got similar items. Oh, we've now got the chipped axe. How do we install? Ah, okay. So we've got the claws and an axe. That's good. Okay, so if I look, see how that looks. Hmm, cool. A little bit of a chug of a frame rate there. I don't know if he picked up on that, but um, generally it's running really solid. So, there is our first quest done, I think. So, we've got a pet tag. Is that you what? A new recruit? You a new recruit? Oh, I think we could only pick one reward. What's that was a bit of a shame because I picked a, picked a pet tag. Well, at least my pet's going to look cool. Don't want to send him to town. We'll give him the... Uh, this tag on his collar so it gives him four physical armor plus four physical damage okie dokie I haven't played Diablo in an age and I always mean to go back to it because I really enjoyed it the time I played with it but I'm just thinking now it just feels like Diablo had a dodge roll in I don't know it just felt like it did and it feels like it's missing here Leave my dog alone. What's your business here? Okay. You just get here? So we've got a quest here to the Enclave, Warney Estherians, but we've also got this here. I don't know if we can go in there and do anything. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so we do have to crack on this way. Why is it showing a treasure chest on the map? Ah, oh, we can pull up a full map with right on the D-pad. I don't know if that just means we left something in the area. Let's quickly nip back. You just get here? It's not far, is it? Let's quickly nip back and see if we did miss anything. It doesn't appear to be. I think it's just signifying that chest that we opened. It must be. That's a bit odd. You think it would uh, disappear off the minimap once we've opened it? Right, let's crack on with the quest. Did it? Okay. On to the next level. So, if you guys are enjoying the uh, the little preview here of this game, um, I'm sure you've seen it on the store coming out. It's been quite highly. One that you know highly looked forward to by people. So no doubt you've got it on your you, uh, on your short you list recruit. or in your vision. The commander's not here, she's in the field. You just get here? Welcome Guess this is her. So Thamor, skill respect. Hmm. Have we met? Okay, so, so I can reset your skills. May I assist you? Glad you made it. Glad you made it. 
Okay. May I assist you? So is this a shop? Identify scroll. Use this to use this scroll. So it's an identified item within our inventory. Press A. So we've got 466 gold. We can get a waypoint portal. Well, we've spent 200 on identify scroll, and we're none the wiser. So that was a bit of a waste. So we've got a shared stash here. I guess you can make multiple characters and store stuff in these uh, chests to use for other characters. So that's good. Dummy here to test out weapons. Looks like a forger or a blacksmith. So can he repair weapons? Not quite sure. Or what he does either so all a bit confusing at the moment so who's this up here Eldrian warn the Asterians the alchemist carried on southward toward the temple steps. Commander Vale and her vanquishers arrived a short while later and pursued him, hoping to prevent further damage. Well, got there in the end. So this is, looks like the next test uh, quest. Sorry, Warney Asterians. And I have to remember that we only really get a choice of one of these items, and none of them are particularly exciting. Or is this, the, oh, this, it's a bit confusing this setup so far. It looks like this might be the quest that we were on. And then we get to pick a reward. So we don't really want any of these. I don't think. It doesn't appear it gives us any boost. We've already got knuckle dusters, we've already got a notched axe. An arming sword. We'll take. Oh. So we'll take the arming sword, but we need to be level 6, but then it doesn't do as much damage as the uh, knuckle dusters anyway. Okay, let's come back to that another time. So let's have a quick look, see what our quests currently are. We've got Warn the Asterians, go through Echo Pass to the Enclave, Warn the Asterians, but the Alchemist. So Max, we, have to, uh, we do have to pick a reward. So our inventory, just make sure we've... So that chip tax, and it's a level 1, I see, so it does 25 damage, and the claws do 22. So they are better items than what we've got. So we'll take the... What should we take? Let's take the Knuckle Dusters. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just accept that quest. So, let's equip our new... Knuckle dusters. 52 damage. And we've got our axe still in our other hand. So let's try loading up the pet. Your pet oh your pet cannot depart from here. Fine, okay. So we can head off this way now to do the next quest. Which I think we'll have a quick look at. You a new recruit? Uh, if, we're going, if you're going out to Temple Steps, I could use your help. The Stormborn have set up a makeshift smithy there. They have two blacksmiths making suits of armor for wild war beasts they've captured. These Stormborns seem to be working from schematics, but they keep them under lock and key. Do you think you may be able to get in there and grab the armor schematics? Of course I can. For you, anything. What are we, what are we going to get? What's in it for us? A bit of armor or some pants. Go on. We'll take that on as well. So, Vanquisher is fine. He's going to let us pass. So, Temple Steps is the next quest. Path of the Honored Dead. I would say, I'm getting towards the end of this video now. I, was, I would say that it's a nice game. Nice enough. I still maintain what I said in my weekly preview yesterday. That um, I'm not sure why you'd pick this over Diablo 
only because of the price, really. It's the only reason I can think of. Diablo is uh, by far a better game. So I don't know why I can't use this attack on the B button. It's just not doing anything now. We're not out of mana. We've got mana. Maybe that was a attack we can only do with our claws. Is there any... So skills, evacerate. Eviscerate. Details. You turn to all enemies directly in front of you, leaving them bleeding for six seconds. Base range. To, requires a melee weapon equipped in the right hand. Hmm. Okay, so that's interesting. Because our dusters are in our left hand. So can we swap? those somehow bit of a faff to swap these weapons over but there we go and we still can't do the attack so does it need dusters in both hands Still can't do it. Really strange. Not sure on that one. We'll have to look into that a bit more. But we're going to go back to putting the axe in our hand for a better attack. Okay, so we are heading... Let's head down these stairs. Let's see what's down here. I think we're going to struggle if we can't use that special attack. It's really... Really odd. Kind of lack of polish again. You kind of feel like there's not a lot of information being conveyed here about why things are working and why they're not. Still being attacked, are we? Oh, the dog's taking care of that. So, scroll of Anom Irek. You must be the human the other Asterians are talking of. I'm glad to have met you. I've been sent on a quest by the Grand Region Eldran to recover the scroll of Anom Irek, stored in a vault in the corrupted crypt here. Unfortunately, the Stormborn have already entered the crypt and I've been able to get past them. Can I ask you to attempt to retrieve the scroll? I will wait here in the path of the Honor Dead for your return. Should you succeed, I will see what I can do to provide you with some equipment more fitting of a hero of your stature. So, some other weapons there and some XP and gold and stuff. We'll take that and we'll take all the missions on. Because that's the kind of hero we are. So I'm still not sure about this evacerate, uh, eviscerate skill. Oh, apparently we're putting skill points into it now. That's interesting. So we've got other skills as well. that aren't unlocked yet. Requires a melee weapon equipped in the right hand. What does that mean? Mm, it's now lit up again. I've now, it's now gone red, I've noticed, where it wasn't before. So it just seems to stop working for some reason. We're heading deeper into there. There was another path that we took off these stairs, wasn't it? We could have gone... Oh, it looks like it might be a dead end. Looks like it may have been the only direction we could have gone anyway. So we headed the right way. So we can down, go down into the corrupted crypt. Let's have a look at the crypts. And then we'll probably call it a day on this one. So corrupted crypt floor one. I don't know if this is sort of a randomly generated dungeon or something. We've got a sarcophagus there that we can open.
bit like what's in Diablo. Smash these urns for items. Don't know what's going on here. Looks like some sort of healing potion. Or is that poison? Oh, we're dead. How did that happen? Resurrect at the entrance to this area, but lose 60 gold. If you choose this option, the result will be blah, blah, blah. That's fine. So we can go back to the entrance to the crypt. We can resurrect in the same place, but lose 180 gold. We can go back to the town and lose nothing. Or we can quit the game. Let's go back to the entrance, because we weren't far away. We really need like a ranged weapon or something. That's a portal. That wasn't ideal. Really need a some sort of ranged weapon. I would certainly prefer if our health was uh, automatically topped up if we've got potions available. Maybe that's an option. So we've got a weapon here, Spontoon two-handed weapon but it may give us a bit of range let's go with that for a while see how that works out ah oh, open up another waypoint portal that wasn't ideal yeah we certainly need a dodger i'm positive that uh positive now that diablo has a dodge roll just feel very exposed without it you just have to keep retreating Health was going down, so we just hit L there just to get some health back. Well, it's giving us a bit of range, but not really the sort of range that uh, that we get from something like an archer or something. So I'm going to quickly switch that back to the knuckle dusters and the chip tax. Well, we've got them glowing now for some reason. We did have. So yeah, just so I come to the end of this video then. So one little sort of final thought on this. I, I like, I like this a lot. I've got no sort of regrets about picking this up. Um, as I said at the start, I'm a big fan of Diablo three put many hours into that so I guess if you're in the same position if you finish oh oh that's a bit unfortunate that chest is attacking me um, if you played Diablo 3 to death and you're looking for something new and you like these style of games then that's certainly you know a decent game certainly for the money $17.99 $20 I reckon you're getting a good deal here I have to give it a try in multiplayer as well that could be fun Remember, there's no local multiplayer, so you're restricted to online with that. Um, but yeah, it seems polished enough. Runs really nicely. Looks good so far, so I'm going to be sticking with it. May pop another video up if I've uh, can put some more hours in. Give you an update of how the, uh, how the later game plays. But if you've got any questions about this specifically, you want me to have a look into it for you, drop me a comment below. And uh, while you're there... Drop me a like and uh, a subscribe if you're new here as well. That'd be really appreciated. But until then, I will bid this dungeon crawling hero farewell. Bid you farewell. And I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers, guys. See you later.